Alrighty guys, what's up? Um, this is like, I think, gonna be the last part of season. If you remember, I ended the last episode, I just smacked my mic, I ended the last episode at the God of Forgetting, where I forgot my name. Uh, but I went ahead and kind of biked my way back towards the shrine quite a bit, just because I do think this will be the last one, and I didn't want part, like, a large part of it to be me just biking across the place. Uh, so I, I worked my way back here for the most part. So, I'm not sure how long this is gonna go. I'm not sure if this will be the last one. Um, but you know, if it's, if I think it's only gonna be like 30 minutes versus 20, I'll probably just finish it out. Um, but we're headed into the shrine now. I, I think it's time. The doors are open. We've figured out who all of the gods are. Um, we've met everyone except for the monk. And yeah, I think it's just time. Opening hours. I knew once I went into the shrine, my time to explore the valley uh, was over. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. Go to the shrine. I think we're ready. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, shrine arriver. Nice long cutscene, I guess. Okay, so I guess we're back to an area very similar to the start of the game. Where it's just kind of very linear. There's the God of Forgetting. Why is only the God of Forgetting in here? Also, who's trailer? Change the channel. Oh, what up? Ah, who are you? What are you doing here? Uh, I'm recording the season before it's gone. I hope this isn't your first day on the job. There isn't much season left to record. What's that? Around your neck. It's a pendant? Uh, it's a pendant. You're wearing a pendant. My God, I've read about those. A pendant, a burner, five memories. One for each sense. Who did you make the pendant with? My mom. And who lost the memories? You or her? Her. She said I had to remember everything. I see. And what was something you burned? Uh, oh, I don't even remember. Toy doll? You burned your poor old friend. I have one of those around here somewhere. Interesting ritual. Similar to what we do here, but different. Why do you want to know? Yeah, why do I? Your mind will make it into the next season intact. You're protected by five senses, five lost memories. What about everyone else? You ever think about that? I have, yeah. I think well, I don't a lot. need one. I'll be right here until the flood takes me. Um, why not evacuate? The first days of a new season are just so damn hopeful. Feeling that kind of hope again would kill me. I'd rather drown. Oh, you're afraid of hope? Of course, of course. Few things are as painful. How did you know about my pendant? I told you I read about them. Look at you, protected. The rest of the world is not so lucky. Me, the people you've met on your way here, nobody else is protected. Uh, yeah, protected against what? You think everyone makes it into a new season intact? Tell that to the boys face down in the parking lot. You know things are about to change. I can tell. Is it possible to make a collective pendant? A collective pendant? To protect a group instead of one person. 
You're welcome to try. My memories are all over the shrine. You can have them, destroy them, whatever you want. Asking an old monk to invent a new ritual. Let me die in peace. Huh? Does anyone understand this? Squeeze it. That old doll. What is that? Touch? I burned this doll for my pendant. Looks like it survived anyway. You'll want a memory for... What did you call it? A collective pendant? Ah. A child left this doll here. A tourist. Is that enough? I guess I won't forget it now. I'll forget it when the flood comes. Oh, a record player. Music in the air, I hear it. I used to play this at breakfast. The woman who took care of me would cook, and I'd dance around. When I was older, I'd cook, and she'd sit and try to sway to the beat. Okay. It has wheels, but it looks like a house. Is that a fruit? That fruit is an acquired taste. But go ahead, try it. Okay. Looks like a pomegranate, kind of. But... Do you like the taste? Yeah. It's the worst thing I've tasted in my life. Really? I remember long ago when I was a beautiful human being sneaking into the orchards with another boy before we knew what was romantic and what wasn't stealing those fruits pretending to love the taste pretending to love the taste and pretending not to love each other both of us pretending smiling and laughing until it became true oh it's so good he was a tourist that boy left me heartbroken like so many others. Do I love the taste of the fruit now? I don't know. Do I love being alive? What choice do I have? Why is he so depressed? I don't understand. Uh, sticky incense. What is this? Oof, that smell. The Matisma mushroom. The woman who took care of me used to bring them home. The smell was overwhelming. She taught me how to find these mushrooms. Out in the woods, paying attention to every molecule of God's creation. Someone must have taught her. Or she taught herself. I wish I had thought to ask her while she was alive. Hold on, I'm gonna see my my book for the shrine. Uh Okay. This is just like my teddy bear. Alright, so we got more to discover here. Turn on simple lighting. I remember seeing lights like these in the forest one night. It was Manchez, the famous singer. 
The only time I ever got to see him sing when my eyes were on the crowd, seeing their faces in electric light, the joy of it. I grew up in a time when we thought our lives could be connected by electricity. How could we hate each other when we all love the same person? A brief, beautiful delusion that the world was knitting itself together. Huh. It's very true. He dies, the war starts, a season ends. And I tell you already, hope is the most painful thing in the world. That's five. Five memories. Five senses. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and add this to it. You know, that's not my An worst old page. Monk surrounded by his memories. Is this a shrine to a god? Or is it a shrine to his past? My name is Ezel. Easel. I was the last monk of Tiang Valley. I never finished my exams to be a monk, but I'm the only one left. <laughs> I took becoming a monk for granted because I grew up around them. If you're including a ruin like me, you must be serious about recording this season. What will you write about me? Uh, you were the last monk of Tiang Valley. That's true. But I was once a scared little boy. I was orphaned by the war. Hmm. The monks found me on the coast, wandering alone, shell-shocked. Sonia, the head monk, took care of me. I saw things I shouldn't have. She helped me erase those memories. If I had any memories of my family, I lost them too. But at least I didn't wake up screaming anymore. I was so afraid of accidentally calling her mom. Why? She was the head monk. Even before she ended the war, Sonia was... And I slept, Oops, I forgot, and I grew. The soldiers came to the valley. Sonia hated the war for taking my family like it took so many others. The most powerful prayers are always made out of desperation. She figured out how to amplify our sleep prayer. A prayer that could end a season. Oh. No one had ever done anything like that. She sent me to the coast to turn on the light posts. To signal that the season would end soon. I used to go to the light posts alone. Just to, to dream about another season. To dream about being born in another season. To die in another season. To imagine a life where I wasn't afraid to have hope. I'd like you to have one of these photos. To carry it with you to wherever you're going. Um, you, dreaming of another these season? These lights, out on the coast, it's a solemn task to turn them on. And... It's not too late. They've shut the off the power. No. Won't be long now. Imagine the waves rolling in here. The water is so deep that light won't reach us. Yikes. I should pray one last time. We should both pray right now. Your pendant, the sacrifice your mother made to keep you safe. It might be possible to pass on this blessing, to divide its power among the people you've met on your journey, to shepherd them into the next season. For a truly strong player, 
We would need... We would need to use up the power of your pendant. I'm not sure it would work. It's never been done before. But I know it would weaken your pendant. In that case, nobody would be protected. Before you light the candle, I want you to think hard about if you want to do this. Do you want to pass on this blessing and leave yourself vulnerable? Yeah, I think so, right? Or will you continue your role as a vessel of memory? Well, I think we've done our job already, I think. I think this is my job. They were kind to me. Are already losing so much. Slowly, painfully, but still, they are moving on. I promised her I wouldn't do anything to my pendant. That was why she let me go. She told me I had to remember everything. That it was my role. Oh my gosh, I don't I don't know what to do. I need to be sure someone will remember this season. There needs to be at least one witness. Someone to carry this season into the future. That is what I set out to do. Uh I Uh, I don't know what to do. I've made up my mind. Use my pendant for the prayer. Can't be selfish. I can feel the memory, senses, and energy in the air. I have not prayed with any great purpose in so long. Let's set our minds to it. Pray with me. Record the prayer. Dong. We sink these words into the fragile earth to accompany lost souls. Listen to the record of our lives spinning and the old woman tapping her foot to the music. Taste the fruit we stole from the orchard and pretend to love the taste until you truly do. Heal the fabric of a lost doll. Smell the incense of an old evening sun. The caretaker prayer, the scent of the woods and the wedding tree. Turn your eyes to the colored lights. The faces in the crowd are the faces of your children. We offer this prayer on behalf of our companions. Let them find themselves with senses warm and ready for the life of the season to come. You have the sounds of the moment. The moment is already past. We've done all we can. I need to take you out of this place. It can't end here. Let's go. Hey yo, everyone's all ganged up. The true end of the Tiang Valley was not the flood coming. It was when these people would go their separate ways. At the last possible moment, I saw them as a community. Without the protection of my pendant, I felt even closer to them. Whatever happens, we're all in it together.
stopped recording. Or start it. The gray hand. The gray hand arrived. He had what he called passports for everyone. He said they were supposed to have a photo, but that his camera was broken and he wanted to use mine. I saw in these little papers the beginning of a new world. He asked me if I could help him. Kochi, I had only one moment to decide. Child. Should I? Wait, what? I had only one moment. In these pillow papers, the beginning of a new world only. Oh. I mean, yeah, we need to give them a future, right? I don't know what these choices mean. I said, yes. The gray hand thanked me. He gave me a pin and told me their new name would be Floral Path. said he felt like driving all night. Oh, I guess it's... If I had said no, we would have all stayed together. But I thought that would have meant we all died in the valley. Listen closely. The road behind you leads to the coast. There's an old warning system on the beach, an emergency light that can be seen from the other side of the ocean. You can warn the rest of the world about the change of season. All you have to do is turn it on. It was built to survive anything. I'm sure it still works. Do you understand? Um, can I take a photo of you? Of course. Easel lives. All right, what will you do now? I've been thinking about that all night. I have this idea to turn my van into a shrine. I have a traveling shrine? For every sermon I preach, I'll listen to ten. Oh. And you, you will remember everything. You will survive everything. Rest transparent in the spirit that Gives you rise. Farewell. All right. Let's go turn on this thing, yeah? I think it's time to finish this out. Goodbye, Ting Valley. It's tough. I, I wanted to see it get flooded, but, you know. I knew that wasn't gonna- we wouldn't be able to see that. There they are. that horn blowing for? I guess it's signaling the end of the season? The elder told me she grew up on a watery republic. The ship was commandeered during the war. Oh, the seaside. New page, okay. 
Let's draw a sketch. Take a picture of the The sound is so forlorn all I can do. trying to speak to the ocean. Let's build our last page. I don't even remember. I don't know her name, dude. What is her name? I keep thinking about it, and I, I I cannot place it. Literally, it's playing games with me. This is a life ring. I like the sound of that. We're just gonna go pretty quick on on these pictures. I'm not super worried about this last page. Oh, this is like the Titanic, dude. The motto of this watery republic was, it is possible to have a good time. I hope they did, while it lasted. Yeah, no joke. Oh, there's a fire, campfire out here. Let's see out the end of the season. Is this a good picture? No, that is not a good picture. Oh, you went into the water. little dock out here. Oh, what is this? Who is... He's purple. Oh my god, this page is. Mm, this one really is my ugliest one. I'm glad we can end in beach, style. I move through the wreckage of an old season and a way to warn the world about the arrival of the next. The cycle will continue. I hope I played my role well. You did, you did. Or I did, I guess. Although the pictures are kind of ugly, but. I do not know who Hello. This Hello. I love you. Thank you. Ice cream. You speak. <gasps> no problems. What this do? Um, to signal the end of a season. Uh, for when the sun sets. You turn them on? Aha! I think wrong. 
Oh, he thinks it's a football field. It's not for sport. Not ah. for sport. <laughs> My village. They all have I'd pointy noses. You see? Oh, he's done the you? same thing that we we've done. My village is safe. Safe village. So. Ah, tree. Beautiful tree. I have tree. It's weird, no? I have weird. Public lizard. Oh, okay. For everyone. Is this religious? Oh. <laughs> I say I live home. My mother will no cry goodbye. Your mother? My mom is strong. Oh, I'm moving her. Ah. Oh, I was moving her somehow. Oh, she's inside the book. Morning, I leave. I go far, far. Hmm? Alone. Long time. I you leave home. Oh. It was a prophetic dream that signaled the end of the season, so I went out to try and record this time on Earth and make it real for people in the future. <laughs> That's so ah, long. Good. Why do you leave home? I may stack I can abe I'm a mola. Look at crap. I see. Look at I crap like now. It. I see I, I like draw. It. I, I draw. Like what you like? I like goats. Aha. Uh -huh. Sound. To play sound. You play sound. This is an instrument I found in a valley. Created by people long dead, played by the wind, howling to no one but me. Good. Good. Here? Here. Three days together. Friend now. Sad that I go. He reminds me of someone I met. Man, my girl's all... She was trying to let go of her old life. Start a new one mm. in a new place. Now? Now here, here together. together. We are same. We are same. All right. It's time. It's very dark. I think I'm walking the right way. Let's call in the new season. It's broken. Oh, never mind. The lights sent out a warning to the other side of the world. I wondered if anyone was watching. I wondered if anyone remembers what it means. This season is over. My new friend is sailing home in the morning. I've decided to go with him. Oh. I feel so scared and so relieved at the same time. I can't think straight. Before sailing into the unknown, I checked in on my journal, my letter to the future. 
Who are you? I don't know, but I'm writing to you anyway. Where are you from? How far in the future? Where'd you from my journal? You may never know. Ah, uh, okay. This is this is just my whole journal. It's dope. Is that it? Oh. Why did she go with him? Hey, yo. Did the charm work? I don't know what that means. I have no clue. Blinding light. And a strange pattern disappeared off the surface of the water. My mind emptied out. But then my senses came alive. I smelled the ocean air. Felt the boat rocking heard the waves rolling, saw someone else was with me. I detected the world for the first time. I was overwhelmed by its beauty and a feeling of possibility. Then I found this journal and I read carefully through each page. Oh. It says, here is my home, my mom, my friends. She lost her memory. I didn't recognize any of them, and the loss hit me. I became aware of a massive absence, and I realized that if it wasn't for this journal, I wouldn't even know I lost anything at all. These pages are a little bridge between us and the world that just disappeared, and I put them together, so that must be who I am. Someone who left their home to take measure of the world before it changed. Here's a record of the people I met along the way. Moments from their lives at the end of this era. I discovered that a group called the Grey Hands planned to remove the haunted quality of the season with a prayer. So they must have prayed for us to forget. To erase some of the world's memory. I hope what I recorded in my journal helps you cut through the fog of amnesia. The same way it helped me remember who I am. I'll continue taking measure of the world, even if I never make it to a palace of art and memory. No matter where you're reading this, I offer you my journal and the lives inside it. If anything in here escapes from the page into the world, let it be one sentence. Just a few words you heard from a traveler on a bicycle. When at the end of the evening, she turned to you and said, It is not too late. How to leave home for my daughter. Find a sacred square of earth. So I guess he's the Lay next down. historian. So you have the dirt at your back. Close your eyes. Close everything. Do you see for yourself? You see for the dead, for the unborn. Do you listen for yourself? You listen for the dead, for the unborn. Your ancestors are in that dirt. All the living and all the dead are holding you up. Now stand. They're still there, aren't they? It's time to move. 
to entangle yourself everywhere with everyone. So the next time you lay down in the dirt, you will have so much more to tell them. Alrighty, that's it, guys. I I hope you enjoyed this game. I definitely did. It it's uh it's a game that you uh I don't know. I don't really have like profound thoughts leaving this. At least not that I can communicate. Um. But I I don't know. I feel like it would hit different people differently. Um. I enjoyed it. I love this game. Uh, again, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. This was a long last episode, but it is what it is. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one.